Cutters, the grassy, unpopular opinions. Hey there, hello there, hello there. It's Jeff Cutter Down with yet another Degrassi popular, unpopular opinions video. This is the eighth one in the series. Um, we talked about how the students mistook Emma's cause and basically beat the shit out of Rick. We also talked about Paige in Season 4, basically about her relationship with Mr. O and why, you know, Paige was not in the right frame. Um, Emma wanting to be with Sean in Season 4 after he saved her from Rick's gun. We also talked about Emma and why she was mad at Manny in Season 6 and how it was justified. Um, we talked about the grassy. Did they really need to go there with a bus crash to further Maya's depression? Um, Spinner's redemption arc was that the best ever, and I thought it was. And basically, the Emma and Manny dynamic about the friendship and how Emma was more of a friend to Manny than we think she was. Today, I'd like to talk about another famous female lead by the name of Maya. And season 14, and basically her relationship with Miles, and how people perceive her as being overreactionary and all that. Why in season 14 did she seem to be so stupid in a sense? So, the story, of course, could, uh, starts in season 12 when she falls in love with Cam, a boy who came to Toronto as part of the Ice Hounds from up north. Unfortunately, Cam just didn't feel up to it. He was homesick. Simple as that. And even though he tried to talk to his parents and all that, he wanted, he probably wanted to go home, but he probably didn't want his parents to, to feel bad for him. When, if he, he didn't want to do hockey, he just wanted to be with his parents. I mean, homesickness is one thing. And of course, Maya tried her best to help Cam out, but Cam basically got triggered by a lot of events, mostly Sig. And basically, Cam killed himself in the greenhouse. And, you know, Maya felt terrible because she should have helped Cam out more and all that. Of course, a lot of people failed Cam, in a sense, but even Principal Simpson. I mean, I know Cam could have just told Principal Simpson his problems and Simpson probably would have done something, but Simpson should have seen it coming. After all, he was fair witness to Rick's problems in season four. Had some parallels, if you will. But unfortunately, Maya never got over it. I mean, she tries to get over Cam and all that, but she just can't. It was her first love, and he killed himself. Now, Maya was right in saying that she shouldn't be praising a guy who killed himself. I mean, fair enough. Why would he commit suicide rather than talk to her? But a lot of things happened, and basically, you know, Maya didn't get a lot of answers. Maya tried to be more promiscuous in a sense, but unfortunately it didn't work out that way. And by season 13, she wanted to be in a <coughs> big relationship with Miles. So basically she wanted to be with Miles and all that, but of course Zoe swiped Miles from under Maya's nose. And then, of course, Sig was with uh, Maya because Maya felt that she needed help Sig out. With his gang thing. I still say Maya, I still say Sig used Maya to his advantage because he took advantage of her wicked state. Of course, she had troubles with being cyber bullied and then she gets in trouble for retaliation. I mean, Simpson really dropped the ball on that. Basically, his principal status is like, you know, he's been around so many years and yet he just can't get everything correct. So unfortunately, yeah, you know, Maya wants to be with Miles, but when Miles hooks up with Zoe, and they talk about it at the rape trial of Zoe, Maya basically lashes out at Miles, saying that you were supposed to be with me, not her. It's over between us. And then when there was a major storm, Zoe and Maya made up because basically they're like, we don't, we shouldn't hate each other. So then, of course, you got. You know, Maya being with Sig, being off and on and all that. And then Maya becomes obsessed with being back with Miles in season 14. But of course, as we all know, there was a hidden agenda with Maya. 
Maya knew that Miles was being abused by his dad, and basically his dad was using power to try to destroy Miles. So basically what you get is the fact that Maya felt that it was her role to help Miles out. In season 13, she took on a massive approach, saying that she needs to be there for her friends. Mostly to compensate for the fact that she fucked up with Cam, in her own mind, of course. But I mean, Cam is a... I mean, there wasn't too much Maya should be blaming herself for, but Maya always blamed herself. I don't know why. But anyway... Maya decides to be with Miles and help Miles out dealing with his dad and all that. Of course, the story goes that <clears throat> Maya is having trouble sleeping. She's getting nightmares that Miles is jumping off a balcony and all that. At school, I was like, is he going to kill himself? And basically, Maya tries to keep her eyeball on Miles because Miles said some kind of jokingly... Uh, social post saying that he's going to kill himself or something like that. And basically, <clears throat> Maya says, I got to help him out. I got to help Miles out. So again, Zoe tried to calm her down, basically saying, oh no, I, I can't have this happen again. I can't let this happen again. Basically, the fact that, you know, this is basically, in her mind, Miles's problems, it's just a camp. And now she's worried that camp, that Miles is going to fall in the cam's footprints and kill himself. So, thankfully, she goes to Miles' house, but she breaks in and tries to help Miles out. Tristan's there, too, and Tristan basically isn't too concerned about his boyfriend, that being Miles, of course. Do you really think... And basically, Maya gets shot on for her approach. She gets psychological help. She basically cut... Then she covers for Miles when he accidentally was high behind the wheel and crashes into Dallas's car, her, almost hurting his girlfriend and his infant son. It's like, geez, Miles. And Maya covers up for Miles? Why? Because, because Miles is going to get in a lot of trouble. Unfortunately, even though that Maya was willing to to cover for Miles, Miles tells everyone the truth, which obviously meant that Maya lied to the cops. She was in trouble. Maya's mom basically is upset at her, and Maya says that, I have to cover for Miles. It's the only way possible. Or something like that. And Maya's mom said that, I know you like Miles, and I know you want to get involved, and I know you want to help people, but, you know, you can't destroy your life for your for a boy. And then the police officer basically tells Maya that you can't help someone who doesn't want to be helped. Maya talks to Miles and says that you got to help yourself and all that. I can't be around for you anymore. I think Maya was in trouble because, you know, she was with Miles. And everyone thought, oh, well, Maya was being obsessive compulsive and all that. Well, in Firestarter, basically, Miles comes up to Maya after dealing with his dad and says, check up on me every so often. And Maya says, I think you're okay. Because Miles helped himself. Now, of course, you know, if we deconstruct it, it's basically, was Maya right in what she was doing to try to protect Miles? The answer is yes and no. The no part is that basically Miles breaking into Miles' house to try to protect, trying to see if he's going to kill himself, standing up for Miles in, a, um, in an accident when Miles was high on the plate, uh, behind the car, uh, behind the wheel. I mean, why would Maya do that? Well, too, there's, you can help Miles out, but helping Miles out by basically stating that you know, you're going to protect him from a crime? Maya is just, you know, what is with Maya? It's basically all that. And the worst part about it is that Maya never admits that Cam's her problem. It seems that after, like, season 13, she never thinks about Cam and all that. Like, Maya could have helped herself out a lot by basically admitting that Cam is getting in her head and all that. That her her problems are due to the fact that 
The events leading up to Cam's death is still in her head, and basically Miles is almost going down the same path. Because remember, the the balcony thing? Cam tried to jump off the balcony to avoid playing hockey, and of course slashing his arm with the skate blade. But basically, yeah, it's like, you know, Miles' thing, it's like Cam's thing. Her mind is playing tricks on her, basically replacing Miles with Cam. No, my, replacing Cam in her dreams with Miles. I think Miles then really hasn't had good sleep patterns. I mean, maybe something about Cam's death had caused her a true failing, and she probably thought that she was failing people. The mind could play so much on you. And I'm shocked that Maya never wished to go, Maya wanted to move on from Cam. That's a good idea, but like, it never, she never got over it. And of course, you're thinking to yourself, was Maya right in trying to protect Miles or she should have just stayed out of it? In a sense, she should have stayed out of it, but you know, with Sig being a jerk and being with Zoe now, Maya basically didn't have time for Sig, and basically Maya wanted to help people out. That was her goal, to help someone out. Cam's death changed her perception on helping people. Some say a little obsessively, but you know what? At least Maya wants to be there for people. You don't say that every day. So, of course, you know, Maya and Miles, I think that relationship was basically Maya trying to get redemption in a sense, because as she helps Miles deal with his problems, Maya will feel happy about herself, and finally the guilt about Cam will finally go away. And then in a sense it did. Then Maya helps Sig out, get out of his gang life, and all that. But as I said, Sig probably took advantage of Maya's wicked state, knowing that Maya um, probably wanted to help Sig to get over the sting of losing Cam. And of course, you know, that bus crash manifested her depression again. I don't think it was because of Cam. I think it was just because, you know, Tristan was in a coma and all that. And Tristan and Maya basically made up as friends in a sense. Now you're thinking to yourself, could Maya have done something different? Yeah, Maya could have told the parents about it. She could have admitted herself saying that Cam's death has taken a big impact on her. I know she was going for help and all that. Maybe she did tell the therapist about Cam, about Cam and all that and her feel guilty about herself. That's possible, but I mean, like, a lot of people thought that Maya was just being a jerk and all that. I doubt it. Maya just wanted redemption for not helping Cam, and then if she helps Miles, she'll feel better about herself. And she's right. She got the help. She needed, and she helped somebody. She got a clean slate. And then, of course, the bus crash happened. So anyway, that's all I've got for today. Uh, stay tuned for another one soon.